What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today I am sharing with you guys my get ready for New York City trip. We're gonna do a pack with me and yeah I'm just gonna share everything that I'm doing to get ready for this trip. So today is actually Monday. I am leaving for New York City on Wednesday. So Wednesday morning we're gonna go to the airport to head off. Tomorrow I have a really busy work day so that's why I'm packing today. I'm gonna try and get most of my packing done so I'm gonna share with you guys all of that, the whole packing process, what I'm bringing. I'm also gonna show you guys some of the outfits that I'm putting together. So as I go through the clothes with y'all that I'm bringing, I'm gonna pop up outfits that I kind of put together. My friend wanted me to send her pictures of outfits that I'm planning, so I'm gonna take those pictures anyways. I have to redo my nails because they <laughs> look awful they feel awful these are press-ons and they do lift over time so once they start lifting you catch like the nails catch your hair in it and it's just really uncomfortable so i need to redo these for my trip so i'll kind of show you guys how i do my nails but let me show you guys kind of like some of the clothes i'm bringing and i'm also going to show y'all my luggage and what i'm bringing in terms of luggage so this is the carry-on that i'm bringing i got this from tj maxx a very long time ago it's just a tommy bahama carry-on suitcase but this is what i'm going to be packing most of my items in it's a pretty good size i can fit a lot in here and then i also have this as my personal second bag which goes under the seat and this also fits a lot it's got a lot of space in there so that's the luggage that i'm bringing i am not checking in a second suitcase or anything like that i like to travel fairly light as light as i can now i am going to try and leave as much room as i can because i do plan on doing a bit of shopping i don't know exactly how much shopping i'm gonna do i want to just try and not go crazy so i don't know exactly how much i'm actually gonna buy over there but i still want to leave room just in case so i'm definitely bringing these little corset tops i love these so much they are so comfortable and super cute so i thought these would be really good to bring for the city i also have it in this white color which is also super cute and then i have a black one as well which i should be washed i'll have to grab that but i'm gonna bring all three of these and then i also have a plain white tank top just to bring some basics i really wanted to wear super cute outfits in the city and just try and be really stylish but now that i think about it more i'm like I need to dress comfortable comfort over anything else and i can really style up my outfits with a blazer so i'm probably gonna bring a few blazers just to kind of elevate my looks um i have these kind of little sweat shorts that i'm gonna bring just for i don't know around the hotel at nighttime to sleep in I have white as well so we're gonna bring those sweat shorts just because they are cute to style with as well we have a black pair of denim shorts these are from forever 21 they are super cute and then i also have these denim shorts these are my favorite denim shorts ever these are from shein as well i also got these a very long time ago but they are very roomy and they go longer in the back so these also don't write up now i'm bringing this little corset it's like a bustier style top and i think i'm gonna bring this to go out out in one night it just kind of looks like that I actually wore this before and posted it on Instagram so I'll pop that picture up but I'm gonna wear this I think actually with these denim Levi's so these are kind of a darker blue wash of denim and I like to kind of cuff them these look super cute with sneakers but they look kind of dressy I don't know what it is like if you pair these jeans with a corset top like this it actually looks like a pretty cute kind of casual dinner outfit I have these green kind of asymmetrical waist jeans from princess polly and i really love these i wear these a lot so i think i'm definitely gonna bring these because i love using these and they're just a good go-to jean and then i also have these jeans which are kind of like a light wash so i have pretty good options i have that dark wash the green denim and then this kind of lighter wash and these are kind of baggy uh they are a little bit long on me so i would just wear these with sneakers with like a little cute top and I think that would be cute. And then I have these jeans. I actually don't think I'm going to bring these jeans because I think I'm going to bring black jeans as well. I forgot. I got to go grab the black jeans. But I have a pair of black jeans that I think I'm going to bring to wear with the black corset top. I don't know we'll see um i also have these white parachute pants i bought these actually for this trip i also have black parachute pants which i think i'm gonna bring as well but these are the white pair so 
So I definitely want to wear these one day in the city with a cute little top. I have these adorable white linen shorts. These are so cute. These were actually in, a lot of these pieces were in my H&M try on haul, my most recent one. So I think I'm going to bring these because they're super cute, really comfortable and perfect for summer. I also have a pair of black linen shorts. I don't know if I will actually wear these, but I feel like they're good just to have as an option. So I will probably bring those. And then I got this black dress actually for one of our dinners. Um, we are going to kind of like a nicer Italian restaurant for dinner one night that I have reservations for us. So I bought this black dress to wear and to style it up like if it is cool enough I'm gonna wear this black blazer over top of it so we'll have this kind of cute black mini dress with the black blazer over top I think that'll be a really cute kind of evening dinner night out look I'm not bringing any heels because I know if I bring heels I will regret wearing them I cannot walk in heels for a long period of time so I think I'm just gonna avoid bringing any any heels and just bring maybe some sandals or like black flats we're gonna have to plan out the sandals I'm not sure what sandals I'm gonna bring but I do have these two pairs of sneakers that I'm bringing these are like my go-to sneakers and they go with pretty much everything. So these are my Dunks. This is in the orange pearl. I love these shoes. They match basically every outfit that I put together. But I also have my white Air Forces. So depending on the outfit, some jeans look better with these. Some jeans look better with these. One of these pairs of shoes will go with the outfit that I have. And then I just have to figure out what sandals I'm bringing. Max, I'm going to try just to bring four pairs of shoes. I don't want any more shoes than that because I feel like shoes is also another item that takes up a lot of space in the suitcase. Okay, just pulled some more pieces that I'm thinking about bringing. So I have, of course, a t-shirt to sleep in. I mostly sleep in oversized t-shirts, so I'm gonna bring this so I have that for like nighttime. And then I have these little biker shorts. I got these from Amazon. I think I'm gonna bring these just to have them. And then I have this uh, oversized like button up. I think this would be cute to wear over a tube top or a corset top. I actually wore this in one of my recent videos. So I think I'm gonna bring this to have it because it may be a little chilly. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring a few of these as options if it is like too chilly to go sleepless because I get cold very easily. This is actually a lot of clothes in front of me now. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna fit all this in my suitcase. Um, I have a few little tops. So I have this little tank top from PacSun that I just bought. So I I think I'm gonna bring that and then I have this black tank top these are really flattering I like these with jeans so we'll bring that I have two tube tops I have a black tube top and then a beige tube top so these are cute to wear we'll bring those just to have them and then I just have this gray kind of tight fitting t-shirt from skims this is probably my one of my favorite ones I really like this heather gray color so gonna bring that as an option I have my favorite skims bras which I'm gonna bring and then a strapless bra I don't know if I'm gonna need this but I need to make sure I have a strapless bra just in case that is a lot to put into a suitcase so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start packing my suitcase and I will let you guys know what happens okay i have made very good progress so this is what i have in my suitcase so far this is like eight to ten outfits roughly all the pictures that i popped up on the screen whenever i was showing the clothes that is what i put together for this trip so that's kind of my ideas i got going for the outfit so most of those clothes are in here i got underwear and bras in here i just need to add some socks and then over here we got some more clothes and i think i'm going to leave this section open i think i'm going to keep this space free for anything that i buy i don't know we'll see but i'm going to keep that space free so that's what i have in my suitcase and then showed y'all these my air forces and then I think I'm gonna take these sandals so these looked good with most of the outfits that I didn't like sneakers with and then I may bring these just because they're really 
I mean, they don't take too much space. So I'm gonna put all of my shoes in this bag. And then I'm also gonna put like all my toiletries, makeup, all of that in here as well. So let me get all of my miscellaneous things together and I'll show you guys what I'm putting in this bag. Okay, currently in my bathroom, I am about to pack up some jewelry. So I have this little jewelry travel case that I'm gonna put most of my jewelry in. I do have this, which has a necklace and some earrings in it. So I'm gonna bring that. This has a lot of earrings in it, so probably bring that as well. And then in here, okay, so this is all of my rings. So I think I'm going to put mostly rings in here, but I can fit some necklaces up here too. So what rings should we bring? I mean, I pretty much wear all the same rings like most of the time. So we're going to bring this one. I wear this one a lot. So we'll put that in there. be a lot easier to do this if I didn't have to hold my camera. And then this one I wear a lot. I do like this one too. Put that one right there. Oh, this is a super cute pinky ring that I got off of Amazon. So we're definitely going to bring that one. That one's really cute on the pinky. And then I do like to wear this one a lot as well. So we'll bring that one too. This one I don't wear super often, but it's really pretty. So we'll bring that one just so we have the option. Um, yeah, most of this jewelry is from Amazon or CNC Luxury. I get a lot of my rings from CNC. Love their rings because this is this one's from CNC Luxury. I really like the gold plating of their rings because it's more of like a, a lighter, softer gold. It's not super yellow. So we'll bring that one too. That one will fit in there. Okay. Okay, I think that's all the rings I'm gonna bring. And then we have some earrings. I like these earrings. These are from HRH Collection, so we'll bring those. And then my go-to bangles. These are from Amazon. I always wear those, so we'll put this. Actually, I have a little, I have, I have something I can put my bracelets in, so we'll leave these out. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm gonna bring any silver jewelry. Okay, here is more of my bracelets and necklaces. So let's see. This one I actually wear a lot. So maybe we'll bring that one. Um, I mean, I have some on. I don't know if you guys see. Let me turn y'all around. Okay, this one I have been wearing pretty much every day. So I'm going to definitely bring this one. This is from HRH Collection. This is also from HRH. So I'm probably going to bring this one as well. I've been really loving this one. And then this is from Kendra Scott. So maybe I'll bring this one too. Definitely going to bring these. And then let's see. What else should I bring? Um, I'm trying to think of like what I wear the most. This is a bracelet. This is from HRH. Maybe I'll bring this too. That one actually fits nice and snug right there. So I'll put that one there. And then I also have this one. I, I've worn this quite a bit. It goes around the neck and kind of hooks right there. I do like this one. So I'll bring this too. We can put this one. We'll put that one right there. I love this necklace. This is also from HRH. It's gorgeous. So we'll bring this one as well. I'll put that in there. I'm going to obviously put it a bit neater in there. I have more jewelry coming, but I don't think it's going to get here before we leave for the trip. I placed another order from HRH as well as CNC. So I think it's going to get here the day I leave, unfortunately. But it's okay. This jewelry... This jewelry should have me set for the trip. Back in the packing room. We still got this empty. So I'm going to add this into here. That is my makeup. Got makeup brushes. Um, this is what I'm going to put my bracelets in. So I have these two bracelets. And then I'm also going to bring these bracelets. And maybe this one. I don't know. Um, we got this jewelry. So that will also go in there. And then I have my curling wand. Which I'm going to put in here. Straightener. Which I'm going to put in here. And then I think I'm also going to bring my laptop, but I don't know. I think I'm going to have to bring my laptop actually because this vlog, I think it's going to go up on Sunday. This is going to be my Sunday upload. So I'm going to have to try to upload this maybe whenever I'm in New York. I'm not sure. We'll see. Oh, mess in the background. <laughs> okay. Let me get all of this put into my second bag and I'll show you guys once I make some progress with that. Oh, also let me show you guys, sorry, before I pack this up, let me show you guys the purses that I'm bringing. So this purse is definitely coming with me. This is by far my most used purse now. I use this basically every day and it actually holds a lot. So I'm not going to bring everything in here. As you guys can see, I got a lot of
of stuff packed in there. So I'm probably gonna take out a few things like this uh, little brush, tanning goggles. So I'm gonna take a few things out of here so I can fit my camera, cause I can actually fit my vlogging camera into this bag. So I'm definitely gonna bring this one. And then I also have this one, which I'm gonna bring too. This is perfect for walking around the city. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. So this is actually good for nighttime too. This looks really cute as like an evening bag, but you can also wear it during the daytime because I have a crossbody strap for this. So this is gonna be probably my most used bag during the trip. And then I'm bringing this one just cause I use this one so much. Back in the bathroom, wanted to show you guys some other things that I'm bringing. So this is shampoo, body wash, and then I just squirted some of my face wash into here, which this is the face wash that I use. I really like this stuff. And then I was gonna bring this, but I asked you guys on Instagram if I could bring this on the plane with me in a carry-on, and most of y'all are voting no. So I'm guessing this is not allowed on the plane, so I'm gonna have to figure out what deodorant I'm gonna bring. I actually have a lot of deodorants that would work on the plane. They just don't really work for me. This is like the only deodorant that I have been able to use that works, so I may just have to buy this over there. I just don't wanna have to worry about buying deodorant in New York, you know, so I may just bring something to, to just just to have and then I'm also gonna bring this which is just some microfiber cloth to take my makeup off with I also need to find my travel size conditioner. I do have travel size conditioner somewhere So I just gotta find that because this hair definitely needs conditioner. Here is the inside of this bag so far I got pretty much everything packed up in here that I showed y'all I put my toiletries in here just because I have found even like the mini bottles do sometimes leak out on the plane So I'm just gonna zip it up in here I couldn't find my conditioner, so I think I'm going to take a trip up to Target either tonight or tomorrow to get a little mini size conditioner. And then I'm just going to bring this deodorant and hope for the best. I don't know. This used to work for me. It doesn't anymore, but you know, better than nothing. Um, I'm going to bring this little mini perfume. It's just a very tiny little spritzy bottle. I don't wear perfume as much as I should, so I'm not gonna bring any of like my bigger bottles. This sh should be fine. So we're gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna pack toothbrush, toothpaste. That's all gonna go in last because I need that still for tomorrow. And then this bag I'll pack last too. So I still need a few other things. Um, my laptop, all my chargers, I'm gonna bring in here. I have pepper spray, which I got delivered from Amazon. So I need to go pick that up from my mailbox. Got a three pack for my friend and I because you never know what's gonna happen in New York City. So definitely gotta bring pepper spray. Um, yeah, there's probably a few other things that I'm forgetting, so I will update you guys with what else I come up with. Here is the moisturizer that I use, and this is less than 3.4 ounces, so I'm gonna put that in my little pouch. And then my nails. Okay, so these are the nails that I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do these tonight, maybe. I do have to soak these off, because if I don't, then it kind of damages your nails, so definitely want to soak them. And then I think I'm gonna trim them. Look how long my nails are. So that's my real nail underneath. They are very long. This hand is pretty long too, but I think I'm just gonna cut them down because I do do my nails myself. I was growing them out so I could actually go get them done, but you know what, I think I'm just gonna keep doing them myself. But yeah, these are gonna be my New York City nails. I think this will turn out really pretty. I love the black. I think it'll be a good vibe. Also can't forget my Kindle. So I'm charging it right now. I am gonna get it fully charged and then download a book. I think, I don't know what book I'm gonna download. I mean, our flight's only an hour there and an hour back. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but better, better bring it just in case. Okay, quick little update. I got the pepper spray. So it comes with these little keychain hooks, but I think I'm just gonna hook mine onto my purse. Um, so I'm gonna bring these two for us. So I'm gonna give my friend one. So got these, and then I also went to Target and picked up some travel size stuff. So I got some dry shampoo because figured that would be good to have. Got some conditioner and then some toothpaste. I got the fluoride free Tom's kind. I use fluoride free toothpaste anyway, so this was a good find. And then I actually picked up this deodorant. I was gonna bring that other deodorant, but this one is a men's 72 hour hold deodorant. So hopefully this one will work for me. So I'm gonna bring that. And then I also got some travel size lotion. I got this Jergens, um, I don't know. It says that it's a sunless tanner, which I'm pretty tan now, but 
this will be good to have, I guess. So got that. And then I also got one of my packages in, some of the jewelry that I ordered from CNC Luxury. I love their jewelry and it's very reasonably priced. So definitely recommend checking them out. You get this cute little card from them. And then here are, I got three pieces. So we got this gorgeous ring. How pretty is that? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I got this to go on my ring finger. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Okay, I love this. Oh my gosh, it's the perfect fit too. It's always so hard finding a ring to fit my ring finger. This is perfect. Okay, got that. I also got this ring. I thought this one was so pretty. So there's that one. This one should fit on my ring finger. Yeah. Oh my gosh, love it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, and then last up, I got these earrings. Whenever I saw these earrings, I was like, oh my gosh, I need those. And then they were actually out of stock when I tried to buy them, but then I guess they came back in stock and I jumped all over them. Oh my gosh, they are gorgeous. So I'm definitely gonna bring these with me to New York. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so that was all the goodies I got. I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this up into my bag. Hey, Meadow, what you doing, Meadow? So you haven't been in Mommy's Pack With Me vlog at all, have you? You have been eating and leaping and playing. He's ready to go play fetch. That's what he's ready to do. All right, you guys, it is now the next day. I look a hot mess. I need to go take a shower, wash my hair. Um, it's around 4.30 p.m., so I'm about to get off work. I still have to soak these nails off, so I think I'm just gonna do that maybe tonight. I don't know. The later I do it, the better. That way they're like fresh for the trip. I'm gonna do that. I still have a few more things left to pack. I packed a few things, uh, like a lip mask, and then I packed the rest of my jewelry. I actually took a few things out of my suitcase to get uh, more room in there because I forgot. I'm gonna do quite a bit of shopping for other people too. I wanna buy a few things for Gabe and then just some like souvenirs for other people. So I wanna make sure I have room. I think anything big that I buy can actually get shipped to my apartment. So I'm not too worried about that. So yeah, I guess I'll check in with you guys once I get these nails straightened out. All right, you guys, it's time to soak these nails off. So there's probably an easier way of doing this, but the way I do it, I just put hot water and Dawn dish soap into a bowl and then I'm just gonna submerge my my fingernails into here. I leave it in there for about like 10 to 15 minutes, both hands at the same time. They're usually pretty easy to peel off after that. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna put these fresh nails on. Okay, it's about 10 minutes later. I just soaked all the nails off and yeah, super easy with the Dawn dish soap. I recommend using soapy water regardless. You don't wanna use acetone or fingernail polish remover, anything like that because instead of breaking through the sticky part that sticks to your nail, it'll just break through this nail part and you wanna make sure you're breaking through the sticky part to peel it off. As you guys can see though, my real nails are honestly pretty long but I am gonna go ahead and trim them down just because this one is already broken. This one is pretty much breaking. I don't know, they're just kind of brittle. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these up and then I'm going to pick out the nails from this pack that I'm going to put on my nails. Okay, here's my nails trimmed and then I just filed them. So that's that hand and then there's this one. So got them a lot shorter. And then I picked out the nails that I'm gonna be putting on my nails. Oh, also you do have to prep your nails with this first. So there's a little pad in here that you just rub onto all your nails. And then I'm also gonna push back my cuticles. Okay, now I'm just gonna take this little file that it comes with and just kind of clean the nail up. Cause sometimes it has these little bits on the end of the nail from, I guess, where they pop them off from. I don't know, it's just something with the way they're manufactured. Okay, then I just make sure they're all stuck on there really good. You wanna make sure that you press the nail into your real nail, like really good so that it's super tight. 
and stuck on there but that is the finished nail let me turn you guys around okay there we go nails are complete that's what they look like i think they're gonna look super pretty like in action and then like you know obviously you just throw these things away so that's what's on the back of them that you're peeling off yeah i think they turned out really pretty though meadow can you turn around so your butt's not in my face my poor baby has no clue has no clue that I'm leaving. He's got no idea. No idea that mommy's leaving. Then you're gonna miss her so much. You're gonna miss your mommy so much. Poor baby.